So a couple questions for you guys first. What is Flux? What are we doing here today? So I'm going to defer to our chair to kick it off. Uh, so Stephanie uh, knows the synergy and the genesis of where all of Flux began. So I'm, I'm Stephanie Hernandez, I'm the chair of Flux, and Flux is a division of AHF, the AIDS Healthcare Foundation, and uh, our aim is to raise the profile of the trans and gender non-conforming communities through uh, innovative advocacy and leveraging social events. Um, and it was kind of born out of a need for the community to see like more authentic representations of ourselves. So. Awesome. Yeah, well, my role as co-chair has been to leverage my experience and 20 years experience of creating trans-specific programming uh, through the nonprofit sector. Uh, in the last few years, we see the elevation of the profiles of the trans community. So you'll see today that uh, we say that a, a picture says a thousand words, and you see so many pictures here today and the portraits of the beautiful people that are part of it. So we have a lot to say. And taking into account the political climate that's taking hold across the country, this is a time to really uplift the narratives of trans community. So we're reaching out to our allies to see our diversity, because we're truly the intersection. Us, as an example, are Latina transgender women, and we live that intersection. I myself am from immigrant parents. So those targets that we feel um, are real and we're, we're living through and working through those adversities day to day. And those are really the cornerstone of, of what keeps us going is our resiliency. Um, everyone in the photo project has and continues to contribute to their local community. And that's the message is that we're part of the fabric of, of the country. We're part of the fabric of your community. We're someone's child. We're your next door neighbor. And uh, we want you to care about our issue. Trans rights are human rights. Human rights are trans rights. So I read a lot about you before I came here, and I know that you and your family had a lot of community like interest and effectiveness with everyone that transgender or not. How can the community, Latino or not, be more involved with Flux now that it's available to them? Well, first of all, I think they need to go to our social media, and our first uh, social media outlet is our website, which is fluxidentity.org. We'll keep everyone updated about our activations and events that are going to take place across the country. Thankfully, AHF has uh, stepped to the forefront as a champion uh, in, in funding those initiatives, so we want to make sure that people come together and support us and center the voices of trans people. Uh, one of the things that was helpful for me is that my, my mom and dad, uh, instead of shunning me as a Latina in Boyle Heights, um, I did my, my whole complete transition without moving from where I live. And the thing that made that possible was the support of my parents. So I think parents and allies are definitely going to play uh, a center role. And one last question for both of you, or either of you, whoever wants to answer. The Inside and Out photo series, what is that about? A little bit more information where you got the pictures, what's the feeling about it? Um, so the feeling and the idea about Inside and Out is that we're beautiful inside and out. Most people associate the trans community with, with just being uh, a beautiful uh, imagery and illusion that you see at a nightclub or that you see in the movies, but deeper within is a human being and the complexity and diversity that exists within that human being and, and what you see and, and the true power and strength and beauty is inside and out. Uh, so we're looking into the industry, um, meaning the, the entertainment industry. So we have Lake Ashley here today. We also have a Reese, his, his girlfriend and model as well. Um, so we see that intersection of activism and also of, of beauty and the industry. Um, so we're leveraging that and the stories behind each of the pictures will be posted on our website. So you'll get to hear about Diana Feliz Oliva who is from Sanger, California and grew up, um, you know, in, in the Files and went from, from, went from, as she likes to say, from, from the Twin Towers of LA to the Ivory Towers of Columbia University, who's a master's graduate and leads the transgender health program at St. John's. You'll hear about Adriel uh, Tetel, who worked with the OC Center, who worked with myself at, as the co-chair of the Transgender Service Provider Network, and how, they, how he gives back, and how he simply likes to go jogging on the weekend, let, do the normal things that we do throughout life. So it's definitely going to be uh, something that you want to tune into and keep in touch with flexidentity.org. Thank you so much, ladies. Music is super excited to be here today. Thank you. Thank you.